Today I'm going to talk to you about brainstorming about a place. When you brainstorm about a place, you want to use a lot of sensory detail. So um, to, in order to give your reader a picture, to be able to visualize and walk through that space with their mind. Okay, so one of the things that's important, of course, is the topic, which you put in the center when you're brainstorming. Okay, where this place is, when you might have been there, what you see, what you hear, touch, feel, smell, and taste. This all gives you that imagery and then why it's important to you, okay? That's extremely important because that's why you're writing about it, okay? All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use different colors for different levels of detail. So my first level of detail um, will be in, um, it's not really, it'll be in red and then my second level of detail will be in black. So um, my topic is my backyard. Now, this is my backyard from when I was a kid, so um, nine to 10 years old. Um, and where my house, my home in Hudson, actually I should say my mom's home. So I, my parents were divorced by this time, okay? And then what I would see, now this is what I do first when I talk, think about things that I see there. I think about what are the objects that I see. So I would see the woods behind our house. I would see the fence, it's in the backyard. Um, I'd see the pine trees and the pool, okay? Things I would hear would be like my sisters playing, my dog probably barking or something, and um, I think that's about it. Okay, what I would touch and feel um, would be the tall grass. There's lots and lots of grass around, and the um, sand burrs. We had a lot of them. They were horrible sticky little things and um, my my bike is something I would touch or feel because I used to ride my bike around the backyard and um, that's it as far as touch and feel smell and taste I, I didn't really taste anything but I did smell like this earthy piney smell so earth earthy dirt pine from the pine needles the pine trees and stuff Okay, now this is really what's important is why am I writing about this, okay? It's a place where I grew up, so I have memories there. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in and these are just my, sort of like my main ideas. Now I'm gonna go back in and put in specific detail about each of these ideas, okay? And that I'm gonna do with a black pen. Okay, at my mom's house in Hudson, we lived on almost an acre of land, so there was three large fields that our house stood on. We had a small house, but the fields were huge. Um, then the woods were made of palmetto and pine. I'm not, yeah, palmetto and pine. And we never went into them because of rattlesnakes. And they were also really pokey. The palmetto fronds were, uh, would like stab you <laughs> or scratch your legs. So you didn't really walk through those. Uh, there were pathways and stuff, but we stayed off of those because of the rattlesnakes. The fence, um, as far as what you could see, it was just a wood fence and with some, uh, like a metal twined around it. And the thing that I would see most there is my dog, Heidi. And she'd always be, she was a shepherd mix and she'd always be waiting at the gate, waiting to play. So that's what I would see. Okay, pine trees, we had several of them in our backyard and um, we had like uh, small groups of them 
and they were towering. You couldn't really climb them because they were really up high. And, but they had um, the red needles would fall on the ground and it would make like a cushion on the ground, like a carpet. Which was really pretty and it was really soft. Um, something else that we saw was the pool and um, it was just one of those little small above ground pools, about three feet deep. Not very big. All right, what I would hear are my sisters playing in the pool, splashing, giggling, any of the sound noises, okay, is what you would put there. Um, and I would hear my dog bark or whine. Um, and that's pretty much what I would hear. Maybe some of the wind whooshing by as I was riding my bike. So through the tall grass. So I'm kind of going to connect what I hear with this stuff about the tall grass that I touch and feel. I could feel the wind whipping by, but I could also hear it. And, um, through this tall grass, I used to ride my bike through it. And so I'd be bumping up and down on the hills. I know this is hard to read, but it's hard to photograph this at the same time. So, um, and that would be my bike doing that when I was riding my bike. And um, I would also feel the, oh, there it is. There it is about my bike. <laughs> Forgot about that. Okay, so we connect that. Um, the sand spurs would get stuck in my laces, shoelaces, and when I would try to pull them out, they would like puncture my fingers. It would really hurt, especially if they were really, really um, brand new sand spurs. Um, I remember feeling my ponytail flopping up and down when I would ride my bike. Okay, I don't really have more to say about my the smell and taste, so um, portion other than earthy and pine. So I'm going to go up to the grew up um, with the memories there. One of mine is I used to ride my bike a lot and pretend different things, like it was a horse and stuff like that. Pretend I was riding a horse. Okay. I was fascinated by horses at that time. One of my friends had a horse, so I was fascinated by them. Uh, I used to play softball with my sisters in the backyard. And I used to play with my dog, of course, inside the fence. We used to play fetch and stuff like that. So, as you can see, I filled up my page full of ideas. And you just start in one spot with your topic. You think about all the, like, the nouns, okay? And then you think about describing them more in specific detail, okay? What you see, what you hear, what you touch, what you smell. That's where you put your adjectives and um, sound words and things like that. So, I should be able to write quite a bit about my backyard from when I was a kid.